My next guest is a giver, and he knows many more people who are givers. My next guest is Terry Davis. He's the CEO of Our Lady of the Wayside. Welcome to the show. And Glad to be here. Thank you. You know, this show, as you know, is all about relationships. Now, yes. you work with so many different kinds of people that have a lot of different kinds of relationships. There are clients, there's volunteers, there's staff. Tell me a little bit about all those relationships. Well, Our Lady of the Wayside provides uh, residential and community-based services to children and adults who are uh, disabled. And we often need people to come in and help us provide those supports and services. And one of the things that has happened with us over the years is that we have put together a very solid volunteer base. And those volunteers come in each and every day and help us develop the program that we need so that we can offer the individuals that we serve the opportunities that they need and deserve. And the clients, I know, get so much from the volunteers, but I'm guessing the volunteers get a lot from the clients. Would I be right? Exactly. It's a partnership, it's a friendship, it's a relationship. And that's developed and has developed over years. And uh, when we go out and ask a volunteer to get involved in our program, we know that they're getting involved because it has a, mean, a meaning to them, something that's very important, something that helps them create a, a feel of void in their lives. Right. And so you've been, how many volunteers do you have? You well, well, we have well over 250 volunteers, but our volunteers specialize in, in what it is that they want. We look at them and we try and match them up with something that's important to them. Mm -hmm. And for the most part, the, the individuals that, that we serve draw the attention, but by and large, it's the activities that they participate in is what draws in the volunteers. Right. So we have volunteers who, for instance, have banking backgrounds, financial backgrounds, individuals who provide supports and services, and we try and match those with the needs of the individuals that we serve. So you, you really key into their passion and you help them incorporate that into Our Lady of the Wayside to help your clients. We think that's very important and that has been the history of our organization. You have an event coming up on November 16th where you're going to honor some very special volunteers. Exactly. Two of them are people many people in the community know, Mike and Sharon Hargrove. We all love them. So tell me a little bit about how you're honoring them. Well, uh, we developed an event a few years ago called the Starlight Garden Humanitarian Award. And it derived because at Our Lady of the Wayside, we have received a lot of support and help from the community, but we felt we weren't giving that back in return. And we put this event together to recognize those individuals who really grasp the spirit of giving. And Sharon and Mike, for certain, they are two that yep. understand that. They have a history with us. They have a history with the community. And another volunteer that has been a part of our program, Marilyn Cunin, she too. They understand what giving is about, and we need their help and support, so we want to honor them. Now, what if the community wants to get involved in this event? Is it open to the community at all? It, it's open. Uh, uh, it'll be the 16th of November at Lander Haven. Uh, you can contact us at 440-934-6054. Purchase a ticket, purchase a table, come on out and help us celebrate that gift oh, of giving. That's really great. It's a win-win for everybody. Everybody wins in this area. Thank you for what you do. And we are proud to support them. Thank you for what you do. Thank you. So if anyone wants to get a hold of The Wayside, though, they can log on to thewayside.org or they can call this number, 1-800-368-6262. All right, stay tuned because the Romance Review comes up next. Thanks, Thank you. Terry. You bet. Next, the good news, you could have money coming to you. The bad news, if you don't take it, it could cost you big time. We'll help add it up for you. This is the Romance Review. This is where I review books, movies, restaurants. Today is extra special, though, because we have someone who is one of my good friends, Andrea Vecchio from Good Company. Nice dig. Yeah, I like okay. it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations on your show. Well, thank you. And you're also kind of plug it when I'm on your show, which is Good Company, Monday through Friday, here on Channel 3. Thanks, So, Debbie. you're here to talk about a movie that's going to be, that came out yesterday. Yes, it's called Morning Glory, and I know this is one that you want to see. Rachel McAdams is in it. I love her. She's adorable, and she is just as nice in person. Harrison Ford and Diane Keaton. So, it all takes place in a network news studio. It's a young girl who wants to be 
on any kind of a morning show, and she becomes the executive producer of the one that's at the bottom of the barrel. They're okay. struggling. So how was it for you to see this movie? Because it must have felt like your life a little bit. It was bit. fun to see only because, you know, I'm in the business. So right. that was entertaining. I mean, some of it's a little bit far-fetched, but there are certain things where you could relate. <laughs> I mean, the two hosts of the show can't stand each other, which, right. of course, I mean, I, that's not Michael the case. and I just hate each other. No, right, right. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and that Fred Griffith. No. Oh, right, that's Actually. Fred, yes. <laughs> no, couldn't relate to that part of it, but it really was a fun movie to see. But I knew I was coming here to review it on a relationship yes. show. So I took a friend of mine who's a male. Okay. It wasn't a date, but I wanted to get his perspective. And, you know, he's kind of in the business, too, so I think that that's why he liked it. It's a cute movie. That's it's cute. not Academy Award winning, but it's right. cute. Now, would you call it a date night movie? Well, I think that when it comes to date night, are we as women kind of in control of the movie that we go to see? Oh, yeah. Okay, well then I think okay. that it's going to be a date night movie. Great. So if you want a date night movie, you're going to want to go see Morning Glory. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, you're welcome. Stay tuned with more of Can You Relate? Red breast imaging is a non-invasive breast scan that has no touch, pain, or radiation, and it can detect abnormalities years before a mammogram. So schedule your Irby scan at 440-239-3438 or visit our website at tenpennyimc.com, where you can be an Irby girl. Money is one of the most important relationships you have, and sometimes it can get complicated, and Ken Butsy would agree. We have Ken in almost every week. Thank you for coming Thank back. You. I Good love morning. it when you're here because you really clarify things for me. Once again, we are talking about RMDs. Are you impressed that I know that? That's awesome. Your <laughs> favorite topic. Right. It stands for... I don't know what it is. <laughs> what does it stand for? <laughs> Required minimum distribution. I know. There's something special about this this time that you're going to talk about, right? That's right. Uh, Required minimum... I can't even say it. <laughs> Required minimum distributions are required for anyone who has a traditional IRA and is age 70 and a half or older. Okay. Okay. It means that they are required to start taking money out of their account even if they don't want to. I have to ask them. Remember the last time you were on, you showed, I think it was a picture of a lady who didn't do this on time and she got penalized for $5,000, $5, right? I think it was a little bit more, but yes. Yeah. That blows my mind. Oh, All right. Yeah. So everybody needs to really listen to this. Okay. <laughs> so go ahead. Okay. So required, required minimum distributions. Boy, say that 10 times I fast. I know. I know. Required minimum distributions are for when you're age 70 and a half or older. There's a table that the government puts out that basically is, is calculating your life expectancy from that age, okay? Okay. So, for instance, assume you're age 70, 75. The life expectancy is 22.9 years. You take all of your IRAs together, their balances as of December 31st, 2009, add them up, divide that by 22.9. So, for simplicity, let's just say it's 500,000. Uh -huh. You divide that by 22.9 and you come up with a number of 21,834. That means that $21,834 needs to be withdrawn from your accounts. You can either draw it off from one account or, or break it up over all the okay. accounts before December 31st. Of 2010. Of 2010. Now, there's something about 2011, right? Well, two, well, actually, what, it, it's special about 2010 because what happened in 2008 is the stock market started going down. So Congress gave everyone a reprieve and suspended RMDs for 2009. Okay. So what we don't want people to think is that that, that suspension was permanent. It's ah. back again this year. Okay. So okay. that's what we're trying to, to caution people is, to, hey, they're back. You, you need to take it out. It's like Jason. from last That's Jason. He's right. back. Right. Now, help me understand this. Seventy and a half. Why? Why 70 and a half? Why not just 70? Uh, personally, I think alcohol was involved when some of these laws were written. <laughs> I, I don't know, Kathy. It's, <laughs> it, it, it's a, it, I know these laws very well. I know how to implement them. I can't make heads or tails as to why any of them make sense or not, and, oh, and, and it doesn't. Um, for instance, when you're, if you turn 70 and a half this year, uh -huh. you're actually allowed to wait until April 1st to take your first distribution even though everyone else is required to do it by December 31st. So the government's actually giving you a little bit longer. But, All right. But 
here's where a problem can come in. If you wait till April 1st uh -huh. to take your first distribution, you're still going to be required to take another distribution before December 31st for this year. Okay, so what we're really saying is we need to mark this on the calendar. Because there's it's no way this item. is sticking in my head, okay? <laughs> Well, fortunately, you have a few years to go. Well, Lots of years thank to Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> so if you are close to this age and you think that you don't want to get penalized, which I'm sure you don't, you want to mark this stuff down on your calendar. And you may want to talk to Ken because you are walking. One thing I want to clarify. Okay. This is only for traditional IRAs. Roth IRAs, oh. you do not have to take the money out. Okay, just traditional just IRAs. Traditional All right, IRAs. so to get a hold of you, you would go to your website, integrityfirstplanners.com, or give you a call at 751-4229. As always, thank you for thank being you. here. Thank you. All right, stay tuned because we have Ask Coach Kathy coming up. And on next week's show, this relationship could change everything about you. It's you and your stylist. Find out what each of you needs to know next week on Can You Relate with Kathy Dawson. Craig and Mark Lindell and Grange Insurance know that when you're out there doing what you do, the last thing you want to worry about is sketchy claims coverage from a cut rate insurance company. When you go with Lindell Insurance and Grange, you're working with companies that use big, bold brush strokes when it comes to claims and make an art of working out even the smallest details to make everything perfect. Contact Lendl Insurance or visit their website. Mm -hmm.